We are going to do Halloween inspired surprise balls today. That's why I have a mommy and Mr. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, your head came off. Okay guys, something different for a change. No bow tutorial. Yay! We actually have something fun for the kiddos, or actually anyone that loves a good surprise. Can you guess what we are doing? Can you guess what these lovelies are? Oh come on and humor me. That is my mommy. And this is Mr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Look at his eyes. And hello, of course he had to have a bow. And this is my failed attempt at a Halloween cupcake. Okay, that that that's gonna go back here. That's uh, that's a fail. All right, but you probably can't guess what we're doing. We are making surprise balls for Halloween, and these are so much fun. My kids enjoy. Um, of course they enjoy opening presents. Who doesn't love to open a present? But they also love like little blind bags and grab bags that we get at the store. I guess, you know, not knowing what's inside is just so exciting. I actually, I, I like it too. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make these cute little Halloween surprise balls and each one is stuffed with goodies. Little Frankenstein's got some candy and goodies and Mr. Mummy's got some candy and goodies and we're gonna let the kids open these once we are finished they're really easy and um, yeah let's go ahead and get started so we are working with an assortment of goodies and yummies and these are actually going to be the yummies that you can eat <laughs> not just the crafty kind all right so first things first I picked up some streamer and this comes on you know the rolls just like you were decorating for a birthday party and I believe I paid 50 cents each for these but you will need the streamer and um, I got a few different colors um, I got black and just basically Halloween type colors all right so you're gonna need your streamers and you're gonna need some goodies to go inside of your surprise balls and what I got was little bitty trinkets my kids love things like this you can go to the dollar store and pick up any um, any of this little stuff that will fit into your um, surprise ball. I tried to go with like Halloween colors and I figured these little lights would be good for Halloween night. They can light themselves up. They go on your fingers. All right, and I also got some Halloween themed candy to go inside. And of course, yours does not have to be Halloween themed. You can do any theme you want. These are just the ones that I got. You can also get little things to decorate the outside of your ball. These little Halloween spiders, maybe. I um, also got some googly eyes because I am going to do a mummy themed surprise ball. And you'll also need your glue gun. But besides that, that's pretty much all we're going to need. Now we can get started. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and make another mummy like this little guy. And what I'm going to need for it is white uh, streamer paper and black. I'm also going to use a couple of googly eyes, the bigger the better. And of course, I've got my assortment of goodies. Um, whatever you want to use to go inside your bowl is totally up to you. So we're going to go ahead and start with the black. And I've got my hot glue gun over here um, heated and ready to go. But what you just do is you take your first item and you're going to wrap it with your um, streamer paper, crepe paper, whatever you call it. You want to get it good. Um, you don't want to do it so tight where your, your paper, you know, ravels apart. But you do want to wrap it really good. And me and this paper, we fight. It tangles up on me. All right, and every so often you can add a little bit of glue just to hold your paper. You can also use tape or another type of glue, but I'm using the glue gun because, well, obviously I want to burn my fingertips off today because I have done that. All right, let me, um, what in the world? Goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this and start another, um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So I've kind of, kind of got like a, like a T, T 
T-shape going. All right. But basically, you're just wrapping your contents um, in the crepe paper. And you don't have to form a circle, but, um, or a ball, so a circle. Hello, I've been watching too much Mickey. All right, so, and then every so often, just add another goodie, and then wrap it up until all of your goodies have been added, and you have a good, nice, round, or whatever shape you're going for, surprise. Okay, and my white was too wide for my liking, so what I did was I just went down the middle and I'm going to trim it into two pieces, just to make it a little thinner. Okay, before we add the white, we're going to go ahead and glue our googly eyes right in the center. And you can glue them anywhere you want. A little glue. All right. There's the eyes. Good. All right. Now we can just start wrapping our mummy. And just like you see here. And all I did was I'll start from the back and glue and then wrap it around and then glue wherever it ends. And you'll have a mummy. Okay guys, that's it. Our mummy is now complete and these little guys are ready to be opened by the kids. Okay, so I went and got Connor and Reagan. You're going to say hi guys? Hi, hi guys. <laughs> I meant you were the guys. <laughs> okay, anyways, I went and got um, these two, and they are going to open our surprise balls. There are treats in these, guys. All you have to do is take off the paper and kind of unroll them. And as you unroll them, you're going to see the surprises. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. What'd you get? Bloody bites. Bloody bites. Yeah. You got bloody bites too? Yeah. Oh, flashlight. And some gummies and a bracelet. Did you find the flashlight? Yeah, I got mine. Did you find a flashlight, Reagan? I found this. There's a flashlight, oh. so be careful. It might be Oh, hidden. yeah. What is this? It's bubbles. Oh. <gasps> Does it work? There it goes. Did y'all like these? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to have to give Kennedy and Megan one, right? Yeah. Alright, so you approve? 